Welcome to the MindView 6 Adding Date and Time Training Tutorial. This tutorial assumes that you have a basic working knowledge of MindView 6. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add dates and times to your mind map, how to view the map as a timeline, and how to export your mind map and include date and time information. Now that we have a completed meeting agenda with several topics, subtopics, notes, attachments, and so on. If we'd like to start associating dates and times to each individual topic, we can do so by using the task timeline panel on the right side of the screen. To begin, select your desired topic, navigate to the task timeline panel from the tab on the right, or access it from the view tab under panels, task timeline. By left-clicking opening remarks, and associating the document type to timeline using standard time scale, I can simply browse for the corresponding time for that topic. I left click the browse button, select my desired year, desired month, and choose the desired date for the meeting. And I can even choose a time to start the meeting. As you can see, that time is then populated directly on to the mind map branch. If I'd like to associate an end time, I simply select the end time browse button, follow along with the corresponding date and time, and the end time for that topic is now associated. Let's go ahead and add time to the updates topic. Again, left click the branch. The past timeline panel is already open. I simply browse for the start time. Choose the desired year, desired month, and the day, and enter the topic times. To speed up this tutorial, I've went ahead and added times to all the main agenda topics. I can now choose to collapse the task timeline panel, and I can view my agenda in the mind map view. It is also possible to switch between the various views, such as the top down view the left-right view, the outline view, and our timeline view. The timeline view can be a new engaging way to demonstrate and present a meeting agenda. Across the left, you have the individual branches listed in a linear list. Each individual topic with associated dates and times will show up on the timeline. If I wanted to add the welcome message as an agenda point on the timeline, I can simply browse, entering a standard date and time in the same format that we did with the main branches. And again, to continue with an end time, browse for the topic, choose the browse button, select the corresponding date and specific times that you'd like to discuss. To expedite this tutorial, I have included agenda times to topics that have attachments. By collapsing the timeline outline and choosing to fit all, I can demonstrate the visual way to look at an agenda across the timeline with the corresponding topics, their times, and even have access to the attachments that were included when the agenda was first created. If I needed to include some additional information, possibly some new notes for a topic, I can choose that desired topic, select the home or insert tab, and choose to add a text note as needed. I could again include attachments such as Excel files, Word documents, PDFs, and so on. Now that we've completed the way to build a proper meeting agenda using MindView's mind mapping view, and even demonstrating that in an additional view such as the timeline. Once the meeting agenda has been created, the times have been associated, and the data has been added, you could choose to distribute this meeting agenda in several ways. From the File tab, I can choose to share the document with other MindView users by sending them an email with this as an attachment. I could choose to export this file into several different ways, such as a Word document or PowerPoint presentation, or even a PDF file. For this example, we will export to Microsoft Word. We'll choose the advanced Word export. We'll choose our desired template determine what elements we want included in the meeting agenda 
and simply choose Export. As you can see, MindView has now converted the MindView document to a linear written document in Word. With our mind map of the agenda, our table of contents, if we chose to include that, and I can again navigate to the corresponding agenda topics by control clicking, seeing the individual topic times, the notes that were included in the agenda, any attachments are accessible from the document as well.